become a celebrity. Get me out of here. Saw former rugby player and royal family member Mike Dindal place fourth on the ITV show. Mike faced some backlash when he first entered the jungle but won the public over with his kind nature and stories about the royal family. One in particular, involved his mother-in-law, Princess Anne, and he admitted he would be hiding from her when he returned home. Discussing his relationship with Princess Anne in the camp, Mike told Sean Walsh and Babatunde Ailsh, I love a suit. My problem with suits is I over-exaggerate dancing at weddings. I rip a lot of suits, trousers and stuff. Zara had like a 30th birthday, it was a disco 70s themed one, I was dancing on the dance floor, I had like flares on, full outfit but it was quite tight. So I was dancing with my mother-in-law and I did a SLT drop in front of my mother-in-law. Ripped my trousers, straight in front of her. It happened to be that my boxers that I had on at that time said nibble my nuts. As I've turned round, she's gone, I'd rather not. I've gone, I'm going and walked off. Mike and runner-up Owen Warner join Good Morning Britain presenters Susanna Reid and Dead Balls to discuss their time in camp. Susanna asked, Mike there was a point where on this program we were discussing whether you being in there might have embarrassed the royal family. I think we have all come to the conclusion that you have done them absolutely proud, Princess Beatrice returned to social media after a year to say he is just the greatest. Do you know how many of the royal family watched and what they thought? Mike admitted, no I don't right now but I am sure I will find out at some point, Christmas is around the corner, let's see if some interesting gifts come underneath the tree. There is some sense of humor kicking around in the family so yeah I'll wait for some interesting gifts and see how many people were watching. Susanna laughed before mentioning the trouser story, well the key thing is did Princess Anne watch when you were talking about your trousers splitting while dancing in front of her? Do you know the answer to that yet? Mike Tendall reacts to Emma's celeb exit as he reunites with Zara, latest, Mike revealed, no, I don't think she was watching but I think Zara might have told her, but I am pretty sure it is etched into her memory bank for all the wrong reasons. So yeah, I will probably bashfully hide away from that one when I get home. Entertainment correspondent Richard Arnold asked, Will you be launching a range of budgie smugglers that even I could pull off? Mike quipped, I have actually just shown the room a pair that I might have knocked up already, so don't worry you are on the guest list. It says don't worry nibble my nuts and another pair that say don't worry these aren't Zara's so I will make sure they find their way over to you. Speaking to presenters Ant McPartland and Declan Donnelly during his eviction interview, he told them, I am good, I am good. I think it has been a long time so you are getting ready, I could feel my body getting ready, you know when the final day could be and I always said going into the final week I am happy to go. But then you get to a tipping point where you go, well actually at this point you want to stay and then cyclone yesterday was a lot of fun. Good Morning Britain airs weekdays from 6am on ITV. Mike revealed, no, I don't think she was watching but I think Zara might have told her, but I am pretty sure it is etched into her memory bank for all the wrong reasons. So yeah, I will probably bashfully hide away from that one when I get home. Entertainment correspondent Richard Arnold asked, will you be launching a range of budgie smugglers that even I could pull off? Mike quipped, I have actually just shown the room a pair that I might have knocked up already, so don't worry you are on the guest list. <laughs>